More than two years have passed since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, and now rare cases of another virus are popping up in Europe, North America, and Australia. No one has yet died of monkeypox, but is there any chance the current outbreak could snowball into something bigger? This is Science Behind Virus with Tech It Out Studio. Let's start with the not too bad facts. Unlike COVID-19, which was the brand new virus to scientists that when it first hit, monkeypox is not that unknown to them. It got its name in 1958 when the first cases were documented in research monkeys. The first human case was reported in 1970. Later, people realized that in most cases, monkeys are also the victim and rodents might be the main carrier. Monkeypox has the more famous cousin called smallpox, a historically deadly virus that is considered eradicated since 1980. Monkeypox is less contagious than smallpox and causes less severe illness. Smallpox has a CFR, that is the uh, case fatality rate of around 30%, which is pretty high. Comparatively, monkeypox only has a CFR of 1 to 10 percent in humans. And vaccines for smallpox can also provide protection against the monkeypox. Many countries, including the U.S. and China, have held smallpox vaccines in strategic reserves in case the virus ever makes a comeback. And some scientists have estimated that uh, the protection rate uh, might be around 85 percent against the monkeypox. So these are all good news uh, for the humans up to now. Also, monkeypox is an enveloped, double-stranded DNA virus. The structure make it a lot more stable than COVID-19, which is RNA virus, meaning it is less likely to mutate or evolve over time. The chance for the monkeypox to become pandemic is pretty small, as it has uh, long been recognized as a rare, self-limiting disease in humans. However, I would not fully exclude the possibility. Since 2018, very rare cases have been confirmed in non-endemic regions like Israel, the UK, and the US, all associated with travel. But this time, cases with no known travel links to endemic regions are popping up in several countries. We are not very sure about the virus diversity and its evolutionary pathway. Uh, we have no idea why this virus suddenly gained the ability to spread and has now disseminated to over 20 countries uh, within these three or four weeks. Another concern is that even with the availability of smallpox vaccines, the majority of the world population born after 1980 aren't vaccinated against it. We could still be facing a lot of uncertainty if monkeypox begins to evolve faster in the near future. And unlike the smallpox, which only infect humans, monkeypox is a genotic uh, disease. So interspecies transmissions will make it much more difficult to fully control and prevent the disease. We have faced various viruses in the past two decades, from SARS and MERS to COVID-19 and monkeypox. They belong to different families, but all spread through zoonotic or animal to human transmission. Why monkeypox abruptly emerged outside tropical forest is still unknown. But that reminds us to rethink our relationship with nature. Rapid urbanization and deforestation are forcing more animals to cohabit with humans, helping deadly viruses find new hosts and evolve against our preventive measures. <laughs>